Hello and welcome to the class of GSM. GSM is Global System for Mobile Communication. Now GSM technology is under second generation and this is completely a voice technology and digital. So this is a digital technology under second generation. So we will be able to communicate with the help of GSM technology. So today we are going to discuss about its network architecture. So basically the network architecture is divided into four parts. The very first is MS. MS is connected to a part which is BSS. BSS is connected to NSS. Then we have OSS. MS to the BSS part, BSS with the NSS and BSS and NSS are connected to OSS. Where MS stands for mobile station BSS as base station subsystem NSS network station subsystem and we have OSS which is operation station subsystem so gsm basic architecture comprises of these four entities mobile station is connected to bss part through an interface we call it as ear interface because what we require we require wireless communication so this interface should be wireless that means connected to ear interface then we have bss bss as base station subsystem after that network station subsystem, we call it as that this is my core network and BSS part, we call it as that this is my radio network. So basically, we have mobile station, it is connected to the radio network and this one is connected to core network which is a center controller and for maintenance, we have operation station subsystem. We also call it as NMS, as Network Management or Maintenance System. So GSM, which is a second generation, under second generation as a voice digital technology, this is, that means its architecture comprises of four basic parts. Now let's discuss these parts in detail. So first one as mobile station with the help of ear interface this is connected to BSS base station subsystem here in this case in BSS we have BTS This BDS is connected to BSC. That means base station subsystem comprises of BDS and BSC. Where BDS is, this one is base trans receiver station. With trans receiver, that means that can transmit as well as receive. Now BSC is base station controller this base station controller controls the number of pts under it it can support minimum 10 to maximum 100 pts around it so this is a bss part now let's move to the core network which is 
NSS. It is having the center heart of the network or main controller of the network, which is MSC. MSC stands for Mobile Switching Center. And other than this, this mobile switching center is connected to its databases like HLR, we have AUC, we have PLR, EIR. SMSC, it is connected to GMSC, also this MSC is connected to a network which is ESTM. Now interface, AR interface BDS and BSC is connected to a BIS interface with the help of a BIS interface. Now BSC is connected to MSC with the help of a interface. So, these are the interfaces. BSS part and NSS part are connected to OSS, which is OMCR. It is divided into OMCR and OMCS. Basically, it is OSS. Now, HLR as home location register vlr stands for visitor location register hlr and vlr euc stands for authentication center with the name of auc eir as equipment Identity Register, Equipment Identity Register, PSTN as Public Switched Telephone Network, which is our landline network, GMSC as Gateway MSC, so SMSC as Short Message Service Center, this is short, so this is how gsm architecture look like now we will discuss this architecture in our next class thank you so much